What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, it's your boy Eddie Wright and today, as I promised, more content, more transparency. We're getting ready for our first competition. If you haven't already heard, this weekend Bass Pro Shops, Pearl, Mississippi, uh, big barbecue throwdown and uh, me and my team will be taking part of that along with a couple of the teams surrounding the metro area. We're going to have a great time. But before we get to that, the first thing we have to do, well, don't have to, but what I want to do is clean my pit thoroughly. Um, I've had this smoker since late October and I've smoked over a hundred pounds of meat in it and have not thoroughly cleaned it. Yes, I've done the maintenance of keeping the ash cleaned and wiping it down, but there's still a lot of things built up as far as grease and a lot of other things I want to get taken care of before I get ready to hit this competition. I want fresh smoke, I want clean smoke, I want clean everything. So, take you through this process, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm doing and uh, just show you guys one of the most important processes of owning a grill whether it be a hundred dollar pit or a couple thousand dollar pit so let's go so here we go we have our gmg gym boy prime as you can see it has to use the pan it has had its run with a lot of great smoke sessions but what i'm going to do today we're going to scrape and use a very good cleaner i got this cleaner from the grills of mississippi it is a safe spray so we're gonna take this, we're gonna shoot it down, we're gonna wipe it down, not gonna scrape anything uh, real hard. We're gonna get rid of a lot of debris that we don't feel needs to be there. Gonna vacuum it out, clean the grates, and we're going to apply some gasket seal on the inside here. We're gonna disassemble the downdraft, get that taken off, clean that, and get that stack sealed up so that we don't have any leakage and we can get rid of this uh, dripping is situation that we have on this side from the uh from the smokestack so i'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod and you guys just hang on for the ride let's go
All right, is it perfect? No, but is it what we want? Yes, it is. We've got a nice solid bead going all the way around. We're gonna allow this to cure for 24, almost 30 hours. We're gonna come in, put the downdraft assembly back together, do us a good burn in, scrape everything clean, get everything ready to go, and get competition ready for this weekend at Bass Pro here in Pearl, Mississippi. So, until next time, part two, coming real soon, real fast. Subscribe to all of the YouTube and all of the other associated content channels. And always remember, YouTube can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.